Now let us look into another type of bin to column connections, which is the bolted double angle web clip bin to column connections. The connections involve two angle clip, which is bolted to the columns flange and also to the web of the beam. For this type of connections, the join will be between the beam and the angle as well as the angle with the columns. These are the design considerations for the connections which involve checking of the edge distance and spacing, the design shear resistance of the fastener, the bearing resistance of the fastener, the shear resistance of the clips, the distributions of the shear force between the fastener, bearing resistance of the beam web, and also block tearing value. Most of these design considerations has been discussed in the previous videos. Accept the distributions of the force between the fastener. As you can see here in the diagram, due to the offset distance of the vertical force, a moment will be generated. This will lead to different degree of forces acting on the boats and the distributions of the internal force between the fasteners at the ultimate limit states are assumed to be proportional to the distance of the center of rotations. This is reflected by this diagram. Assuming the rotational axis will be at the mid height of the clip, a larger horizontal force on the fastener will be required to resist the moment. When the boat is closer to the central axis, the magnitude of force reduces, and the relationship between the magnitude of the forces is assumed to be in linear conditions. For simplicity, it is assumed so, although we know that that may not be the actual case. With that, the bearing forces acting on the bolt hole and the fastener will be the resultant force of the horizontal and the vertical components of the forces. As represented by this diagram, referring to this bolt. The horizontal force here is referring to this force, while the vertical force here will be equivalent to the vertical force acting on the member. And the resultant force of these two will be the FED. The resultant force here are computed based on the numbers of bolts on the connections. It is assumed that the vertical load is equally shared by the numbers of boats. Therefore, the vertical components of the load will be equal to VED, which is this, divided by the numbers of boats. In this case, there will be 5 boats here. Therefore, the end here will be equal to 5. As for the horizontal force, it is determined by using this formula where the MED is divided by number of bulbs times its spacing. From here, you are able to compute the resultant force acting on the bolt hole and also on the bulbs. And this shall be used for you to check the shear resistance of the boat as well as the bearing resistance acting on the angle and also the web of the beam.